I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. All right. I'm the Brother Ties of War. Uh, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one, I just wanted to give, you know, my little two sit uh, upon a brother's lesson. Elder Brother Amawan Kabar. All right. Brother in the main camp. And um, I just seen his video. He posted this video a while, a, little, a couple hours earlier. I just seen it on the feed. And uh, boy, woo, you know, hey, this is surely the year of prophecy. All right. As Elder Apostle Tahar coined this year. Okay. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, I'm pretty sure brother seen the video already. But for those who didn't, all right, I'm going to play it. Must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID. We must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes, with a high level of care and caution. We must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID. We must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes, with a high level of care and caution. We must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID. We must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes. With a high level of care and caution. Shallow one. Wanna start off by giving up. All right. So so there you go. Okay. You know, I'm gonna leave a link to the brother's page. And um must treat. And um, you know, he said this this is the new world order. All right, and this is what the men of the Lord been telling you. Start with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, been telling you for the longest, you know, before Going back 10 years ago, you would call it a comp uh, conspiracy theory. You know, this new world order, Illuminati, it was all conspiracy, conspiracy. Now it's a conspiracy fact. And we're in the beginning stages of their new world order. This is them uh, implementing their system, which goes into the scriptures. All right. The uh, image of the beast. OK. In Revelation 13, which the image of the beast goes back to the Roman system. But now they're modernizing it, okay, to this new system, okay, which is a system where everyone, every uh, being will be hooked up, you know, to AI intelligence. Basically, everyone will be a transhuman, okay, having technology in your body. The only way to buy and sell is that, is that you have this mark, okay, which is the RFID microchip. Now, some people who want to be hardheads and scoff and you know non-believers would say oh he didn't mean it like that no he meant it like that you know here's the thing uh i have two examples all right when these elites and uh these rich edomites are among elite families and they speak of 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 their truth of their gender they speak freely okay they do it so much that it's just a norm. It's just how they speak. It's their lingo. It's how they talk. Okay. But when they come before the public, you know, they have to be thoughtful in the words that they use because they will spill the beans. They will tell on themselves. And that also is a scripture where the Lord said he will uh, make their tongue to fall upon themselves. All right. So you got these men who are among the rich elites and they speak freely. You know, they, they, they come up short. Okay, they come up short. For an example, I remember, um, I forgot his name, but he was a NBA, uh, NBA team owner. I think it was about two years ago or a year ago. He got caught, you know, speaking racial uh, things against the so-called blacks. All right, the Negroes. He was talking hella shit. And his woman, which was an Ishakar, right, she filmed him, you know, because I guess... You could tell he always spoke like that, so she took it upon herself to be intelligent to film him in the midst of his rant, as he normally do, among his peoples, among his family, all right, among his party. But when they come into public, all right, there there's a game. You know, another thing, us brothers, we do it, all right. You know, when we among each other, you know, our lingo, we we uh we speak our Hebrew, certain terms, the kun, yayun, yapa. Shalom, you know, and when we get around people of the world, family, friends, whoever, you know, sometimes when you're talking to someone, having a good conversation and they say something, you agree, you will say 
yo, cunt, cunt. And they'll look at you and go, what? What'd you say? You'd be like, oh, nah, I was agreeing. I was agreeing. So we slip as well, okay? So it's the same as these devils. They slip. And this right here is just more ev more evidence, okay, upon, upon uh, just, you know, more evidence of, of we're in the end of Esau's kingdom and that this is their new world order agenda, all right? So as I played that video, the scripture that came in mind was uh was Job the fifth chapter. Alright. Now it says Job five and I read into it. Uh let's see. I'll start at seven. It says, Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. I will seek unto Yahweh, and unto Yahweh would I commit my cause which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields, to set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. Now this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Esau, he wants to sit in the temple of the Most High. He wants to be as though he is the Most High, but that would never be. Okay, our Father, which art in heaven, and hallowed be his name. Okay, Yahweh, only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord, who gave up his, uh, his, he spilt his blood, all right, to be that sacrificial lamb for the elect. Okay, well, for all Israel, but for the elect first. All right, we worship Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and he's a righteous power. So he says, to set up on high those that be low, who are low, the Israelites. It says, and that, that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. Who's mourning? The elect. And it says, may be exhorted to safety. Now, verse 12, it says, he disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So their enterprise is their new world order. All right. So he says, he disappointeth. The devices of the crafty. What is the devices? This RFID microchip, which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. That's a device. And they have many devices, but that's the main device for the end all be all of their new world order. Their, their end of their agenda. Okay? So it says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. You know, Esau, go back to his characteristics. He was skillful, man of the field, crafty, all right, cunning. It says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, meaning they can't perform their, their device. Now, when you go into this word enterprise, I was just giving it a look up. And uh, the Hebrew there is, is uh, ta wa sha ya ha. So, ta wa sha ya, ta wa sha ya. All right. Now, it says wisdom. Sound, knowledge, success, sound, or efficient wisdom, abiding success. Sound or efficient wisdom, abiding success of the effect of sound wisdom. Now it says wisdom, enterprise, thing as it is, that which is, substance, working. It says, uh... From the unused root, probably meaning to substantiate, support, uh, ability, direct help, and, and purpose, and undertaking. All right, an undertaking, intellectual understanding, enterprise, that which thing as it, that which thing as it as it is, substance, sound, wisdom, working. So now it says undertaking. All right. Wisdom, sound, knowledge, success, sound or efficient wisdom, abiding success, sound or efficient wisdom. What is their wisdom? It's a plan being sought out. All right. Taking counsel, having efficient wisdom. OK. It says abiding success. This is why they believe that they won't fail because they have this. They had this new world order plan for many years. I remember was it Ronald Reagan? 
Oh no, Slakia. Excuse me. It was uh Bush Senior that had the great New World Order speech. All right, you could go watch that. Abiding success of the effect of sound wisdom. So now let me um just want a little more from here. So I okay. Now when we go here, it says um an enterprise is a company or business, often a small one, right? It says there are plenty of small industrial enterprises. Now, it says an enterprise is something new. Here we go. The enterprise is something new, difficult, all right? Why is it difficult? Because it's a great task. It says, or important that you do or try to do. So it's, it's an important task that you would do or try to do and it's difficult all right and it says what something new what is new you being hooked up to a computer all right technology inside of your body you being a transhuman this is new okay this is more uh more more in depth of slavery okay because now esau can control your thoughts he can control your emotions. He can be in your body. All right. He don't have to come and uh, assassinate you. You know, he can just press a button, you know, and if you don't believe these things, you need to look up and get in tune with his weapons. OK, get in tune with the Lord giving him gave him on the left hand side. All right. What's that? Romans 9 and 13. The Lord said uh, he was going to uh, buff, uh, uh, puff him up so that he so that the most high can show his power in thee. All right. You know, and that's that's what I wanted from here. Enterprise is the activity of managing companies. Right. That's the major point. So it says an enterprise is something new, difficult or important that you do or try to do. You know, what are they trying to do? They're trying to change the face of America, but also at the same time, change the way that you live. All right. But the Lord said differently. He said he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He take of the wise and their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried here long. So the Lord takes Esau up and their own counsels. You know, they have these build the bird meetings, um, you know, these elite bank, these elite meetings around the world. You know what they call it, the summit. You know, they got uh, secret meetings. That they do, they shut down the whole city, a town, and they 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 make sure that you know all all the the powers that so called be, you know they they in safe safety while they meet up. All right, he take up the wife wise in their own craftiness, and ultimately their goal is to uh, stop us from being a nation. All right, stop us from being Yashar Allah, he prince power. All right. The men of the Lord being the prince of the most high. That's that's the whole deal, because it goes back to Esau. All right. Taking his birthright back from Jacob, which he sold unto Jacob. All right. That's what it's all about. It says they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. So they meet in darkness. All right. They have these blood sacrifices, sexual rituals. All right. I believe Alex Jones, he uh, exposed one of their rituals and uh, they had the big owl there. And he heard this crazy sound screaming, demon like sounds, and they were sacrificing a, a child. All right. It says they meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. And that's the Lord's elect being um, exempt of the Heavenly Father's judgment and being in safety, you know, way away from these Edomites in their mouth. I believe uh, another scripture say, hide us from the secret counsels of the wicked. What's that? Psalms 83, I think. Yeah. Hide us from the secret counsels of the wicked. All right. Because they're surely talking about all of the Israelites and this whole thing of ours that's going across the whole world. All right. They're not ignorant to what's going on. Esau gives a diligent search. Scriptures say he's wiser than Daniel. So you better believe it. 
And this is why here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles and elders, okay, we, we defend the gospel. You know, brothers get on and rebuke and reprove, correct, you know, different camps and the, and the false doctrines. It's out of love, you know, so that the brother could repent, you know, and teach the word sincerely. Give, give the hopeful elect that, uh, that hedge in which the scriptures speak of. We're looking for a hedge, okay? We're looking for protection. You know, these devils are going to come down having great wrath. What you going to do when they lock your city up? Okay, what they going to do? What you going to do when there's no food in the supermarket? You know, you're going to defend yourself with guns and you're going to survive? You know, how are you going to eat? How are you going to drink water? Once this economy crashed, you better know that the water was coming out your sink and your toilet. It's going to be, def it's going to be uh, uh, greatly polluted. It's polluted now, but it's going to be greatly polluted. All right, you know, and the scriptures, let me say, Yahweh Shai teaches us and warns us in for these times and how the mind, our spirit, you know, how we want to be, how, how we should uh, manner ourselves. He teaches us that, and that's the God knows truth, man. So, you know, I didn't want to make it too long. I wanted to say a little bit. When I saw this video, it excited me. You know, I got up and I said, man, that's Job, the fifth chapter, where the Lord said he's going to, uh, uh, disappoint their craftiness Disappoint their enterprise man You know So hopefully this lesson will be edifying To those of the whole four elect uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Makakwadash Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone Salutations to the Lord's elect Shalom